VRR it's one of many acronyms floating around TV functionality these days, but you would want to understand what it means to make sure you're fully informed when buying a new TV, especially if you're going to be using it to play on an Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, or a PS5. VRR or Variable Refresh Rate, as it's known, is a key feature for getting a smooth, artifact-free picture when gaming, ensuring a clean image for both offline and competitive games. But how does it work, and how much does it actually make a difference? The main job of VRR is to eliminate screen tearing when playing games. Tearing is a kind of visual glitch, where the image on your TV shutters mid-frame before carrying on as before. Screen tearing happens when your TV's refresh of its image is out of sync with the rate at which your console or PC graphics card delivers frames. You end up with an on-screen image that sees, for example, the top half of the screen display one frame and the bottom the next. This happens because TVs don't refresh their entire screen image instantly. The driver of a display rapidly scans down the screen, usually from top to bottom, updating the state of each pixel. It just happens too fast for our eyes and brains to notice, until it causes a visual aberration. Tearing becomes noticeable when, for example, you use a 60Hz TV and the game's frame rate vacillates between 4.5 FPS and 6.0 FPS. It's particularly obvious in fast motion games like first-person shooters. Turn around quickly in-game and the difference in on-screen information can be hugely different from one frame to the next. It's a jarring look. VRR eliminates this by syncing the refresh rate of the display to that of the console's output. You get no more tiering, with no performance hit because the console or PC is the pace setter, not the display. Thanks for watching. Please do well to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content.